everybody, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, no cheesy intros today. I got some Vanguard news, but first we're going to start off with Dragonborn, Rise to Supremacy. Now Dragonborn has been out for a little bit, of, about a year now. It seemed like a pretty interesting game, I didn't really get into it, but sadly, it's time for Dragonborn to be discontinued. Um, I guess it just didn't do well, like Luck and Logic. Um, that is the second Bush Hero card game to die in the hands of Bush Hero. So let's read their read their little thing, their sentiment. Singapore, August 8th, 2018. Bush Hero announced that the product trading card game, Dragonborn Rise of Supremacy, will cease after the final product, Booster Pack Volume 5, Reckoning of Varush. Is released on October 26, 2018. After the discontinued, players will be able to will be able to continue to participate in monthly shop tournaments with a PR with a promo card prize until the end of February 2019. In addition, as a part of Bushro's Championship Series lineup 2018, Dragonborn Rise of Supremacy Regional Champions will be held in six locations worldwide. Champions each of each region cha regional champions will receive a fully sponsored invitation to compete in the world finales in Japan. We at Bushiro would like to sincerely thank all of our players, stores, and distributors for supporting Dragonborn Rise of Supremacy. With that, another game dies. It's a sad day for you Dragonborn players out there. I never really had the chance, and I wanted to, but now I don't see a lot of reason to pick it up. It makes me sad, it really does. But I think I'm going to continue on to the cards. So we have had a lot of announcements since um, Monday when I covered the Dark Dictator and I think Alice. Um, and we're going to go over those cards today. Um, we're going to skip the commons, this, this the uh, Maka, because she was good, but I don't think she's worth covering. Um, we're going to skip the Chimera and cover him. We're also going to cover the Bear and, uh, Demon Eater. So let's hop into that. So we have two darker wear, Darky Regular Wear Beast. First is we have Wear Bear Varen Foliar. It's AK with 5k shield. When it attacks a Vanguard costs Counter Blast 1, Soul Charge 1. This unit gets 2k until end of until end of battle for each card in your soul. If you have, if you had three cards in your soul when activating this ability, you get 8k after you soul charge one. Pretty good card, and it does stack really well with what Dark Eraser does. So this is a great mid to late game card, and will be very powerful. We also have Werewolf Fibber. I can't say these names. Uh, put this unit into your soul, soul charge one, one of your units gets 5k until end of turn. So these cards I feel like are going to combo very well. You're going to use his skill to soul charge and soul charge two, and then you're going to give him 5k and then you're going to give him another additional, however much, oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Well, that was, um, awkward. However much, um, pow, however many cards are in soul. We also have Dream Eater uh, with a really neat skill. I think this is going to be a, a main grade, grade 3 in a lot of decks. When your Guardian is retired, place that card into Soul. So essentially this is your starting grade 3. And you just guard a bunch, Soul Charge. And then you go to her second skill. When it attacks, cost, counter blast one, put another one of your rear guards into Soul. Draw one hard. During the battle, this, this gains 10k. And if you cost Soul Blast 10, your opponent cannot call Sentinels to the Guard Circle. That's pretty good. It's not an all-stopping uh, card, but it does work against those Grade 0 annoyances for perfect guards. So that's pretty much a good reason to like it. It's uh, also the first Mega Blast, it looks like. The classic Mega Blast monster from Dark Irregulars gets a repurposed into something much more useful. And finally, we have our favorite Shadow Paladin boy, Black Sage. Um, 
And yeah, he's a triple rare. His ability is super good. When placed by your card effect, costs counter blast one, counter charge or soul blast one, counter charge one. This unit gets three k until end of turn. Um, I like this card. I like the art already, and it's a pretty useful card with how the deck is gonna run. I'm kind of interested to see what is going to happen with some of the other units in this set. But I think that's about it, guys. Let me know what you guys think on these cards. What else you guys like to see down in the comments below. I'll be releasing a video later next week talking about a, a couple of giveaways I would like to start doing. But until then, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.